Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lloyd, and welcome back to another episode of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers Madden 21 Connected Franchise Series, of course, here in the Premier Madden League. And we are kicking off week one. Yes, regular season of season number three is finally among us, man. And we have a tough one taking on the Arizona Cardinals, a team that I believe has a real chance of trying to win the division or possibly fighting for a playoff spot in the NFC, man. So what we're going to do is take a look at the roster, at their depth chart, and kind of go over, you know, the game plan for our side. And we'll see, obviously, if we could hold it down and actually keep up the game plan. Now, obviously, they have Kyler Murray, 93 overall, 91 speed. This dude is amazing, man. 94 throw power, short accuracy, a 99. Mid accuracy, 95. Deep accuracy, 91. So yes, we have Sam Howell who's going to be making his regular season debut tonight. But man, you can't compete with this man, especially throw on the run, 92. He's going to do all types of stuff. 89 break sack, the 91 speed. He is going to be a real problem. At the running back position, Naeem Hines is going to get the start, 94 speed. This dude is a monster. Only 88 change of direction. Um, then he has Ely, who he drafted this season. 93 speed. And then Kenyon Drake is going to be the third running back on that depth chart. Wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. Of course, we are going to try as much as possible to have Sean Murphy Bunting, SMB, our top cornerback, follow this man around the field. Then we're going to have Christian Kirk. Hopefully, Jamel Dean can hold his own against Christian Kirk. Um, and then Andy Isabella with that 95 speed, he's going to be the playmaker, the guy who could take guys over the top. Um, at the tight end position, they added David Njoku this season. Not the greatest run blocker in the world, but he's nice, man. So we definitely have to worry about him. Um, he could definitely make some plays. And we'll see if we could, you know, do a decent job of trying to shut him down. Offensive the line, they have James Daniels at the left side at left tackle. He's going to do his thing, man. He's going to make sure, you know, he's... he's Holding up the block for his uh, his quarterback. Left guard, the roller with DJ Humphreys. For him, man, pass block finesse isn't the greatest. Um, but his run blocking, I think, is really good. So run blocking, left guard is definitely going to do his thing. At the center position, John Felciano. Um, solid, not the greatest. But, I mean, he's definitely a starter on a couple of teams, man. His pass block finesse isn't that great. But you don't have to worry about it because he's going against... Vita Vea, man. Right guard, Brian Allen. This guy is probably the question mark on the offensive line. 67 pass block finesse. So maybe we have our rookie DJ Dale over there. Maybe he, with his finesse moves, could get back there and do something. Right tackle, we have Eric Fisher. He's going to be the guy. We'll see what he could do, man. It's going to be a tough matchup to see if he could, you know, keep that in check. Guys like Shaq Barrett, who's definitely going to be coming off that edge, man. Um, left end, Breland Speaks. He's going to be nice, bro. So he's going to be a problem to try to, you know, contain. Um, but the thing with them, look at the block shedding. 92. Yes, 92 block shedding. That is crazy, bro. I don't know. You know, we can't attack him running the ball like we typically like to attack people, man. Right end, another guy. He doesn't have the greatest block shed, only 72, but the guy who could definitely get in the backfield with a 94 finesse move. So two, two sides of the line. Right end is the guy who get after the quarterback. Left end is a guy who could block sheds, uh, um, break, block. I don't know what I'm trying to say. He could get rid of blocks, bro. That's basically what I'm trying to say, man. Defensive tackle, they have two guys who could both get off of blocks. So we'll see if we can try to run the ball on them. The linebacker core is not the greatest. Um, Davis getting a little older, um, but he still has 85 speed. Um, Hassan Riddick is going to be at the middle linebacker spot. Um, right outside linebacker is going to be Jawan Bentley. So these guys are solid. Um, but if we can get to that second level, I think our running backs could do something there. Their cornerbacks are amazing, bro. Byron Murphy Jr., 92 speed, 96 man coverage, 86 zone, 85 press, 74 catching. Then you have Patrick Sertain, the second. He is very good with that 94 speed. He has the size of 6'2", has the man coverage at 94, but he's not the best catcher in the world. So maybe he could drop some picks and bail us out. And then Gidry, bro, he's just as good. They have Hargraves there as well. Buda Baker, one of the best free safeties in the NFL. So this is going to be a tough matchup. 82 man coverage, 91 zone coverage, 94 play. Rookie has a 74 catch. Buda Baker, one of my favorite defensive players in the league in real life. 
he's going to be out here causing problems. Then Isaiah Simmons, come on, man. 97 overall. Zone Hawk X Factor. I believe so was Buda Baker. Oh, he's a superstar. But um, Zone X Factor was Zone Hawk for Isaiah Simmons. 94 speed. The dude's 6'4. He's going to be able to range the whole field, man. 76 man coverage. 96 play break. 92 zone coverage. Catching is a 71. Hit power is a 90. So I thought our secondary was good. This secondary. Definitely going to be the real deal, man. Out of the shot confirmation, looking at Naheem Hines, the third down back. Slot receiver is going to be Isabella. Um, let's see who the sub linebackers are. Hassan, Hassan Riddick and Christian Harris, the rookie, is going to be the guys in the middle, man. So, great roster. We have a good roster. First game of the season, so I didn't have really anything to go off of. I didn't waste my time looking at preseason games because it was preseason. I know he's going to come here with a fresh playbook and all that good stuff, man. So let's go ahead and get the game booted up. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys. So first play of the season, man. I was trying to catch him off guard with a shot, but I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and run this thing to the left. There we go, Ronald Jones. Oh, man, I thought maybe we could have got to the outside there, but a solid run there, and our backup tight end is, is already injured. There we go. We'll throw it to Leonard Fournette, make the catch. All right, so I, I'm noting that he likes to cut. There we go, second to four. See if we can get some yards with Ronald Jones. There we go. There we go. Good block, man. You typically don't see guys come back, but OJ Howard... He did, man. So, two carries, 22 yards already from Ronald Jones. We take that Leonard Fournette. First down. Is that a first, baby? Oh, man, we're inches short. And let's go, baby. Mike Evans. That's going to be a tough matchup right there, but he came free. And here we go. First down. And OJ Howard, great catch, baby. Down to the one. I was hoping maybe he'll fall in the end zone, but we'll take that. Here we go second to goal. Can we get in this time? And we got the blocks. And we can't fall forward, man. So we got to try this again. Here it goes. Third and goal. We got Mariota in the game. And Mariota, is he in there? Let's go, baby. Touchdown, Marcus Mariota. Man, hey, we're going to get take the points any way we can get it. All right, so here we go, man. First play for the Cardinals on offense. Here we go. Changing the formation up. Run the football. Let's go. Levante David, big hit stick. Here we go. Ah, man, I was kind of in the middle. Hey, he, he was able to squeeze that in there, though. Great tackle by SMB. There it is. Levante David, man. Old man David is still out here making plays. Third and four. Let's go, baby. Incomplete. That was close, man. I thought he was going to make that catch. And we're watching the fake. No fake. All right, so they're punting the ball. Great punt. Great punt. Great punt. Down is at the three. And, oh, he dropped it. How put it where he needed to put it. Here we go, Winfield. Let's go, baby. What a hit. He's going to be short again. Fourth and two, man. Is this another punt? Or is he going to go for it here, man? That's going to end the quarter. Then we'll find out after the quarter ends. Here he goes. Fourth and two. He's going for it here. And they get it, man. Great blocking. First and 10 now. Slip screen. Ah, man, we took the wrong side with Jamel Dean. And they moved the chains, man. Here we go. Second and inches. Ah, they got us. Christian Kirk, man, got Harrison Smith. That was on me, man. That was on me right there. Here we go. It's third down. Good throw. Good catch, baby. Mike Evans. There it is, Ronald Jones. Great run, baby. I'm going right back to the ground. There it is. We'll take face mask, baby. We'll definitely take the hit. We will definitely take that, man. Now, now we're in field goal range. 
Here we go, OJ. OJ, let's go, OJ. Took a big hit right there. I'm glad he didn't fumble, man. First and goal. I'm gonna keep it. Sam Howell, and he's in there, baby. Touched to him. The rookie with his first NFL touchdown is actually a run, but let's go. Here we go, first and goal. Pick that all. Oh, yo. I know y'all see me run up, bro. I read that the whole way, bro. Dang. Switch screen. Mm. First down, man. He had to throw it away, man. Here we go. Third and seven. Pick that off. Mm, he has to punt it, man, but I thought we could pick that off, bro. Here we go, man. See what we can do on this drive. And Ronald Jones, let's go. Way to hold on to it, man. We'll take that. Took a big hit, man. Leonard Fournette has 99 carrying, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Way to pick it up. Here we go. Third and two. Let's go. Hit Godwin, baby. Keep the drive going. Keep the clock going. There it is. Are we getting there? Ah, man, we're short. Ah, man, we're going to call the timeout here, man. All right, so we're going to have to lob this up, bro. It's a heck of a corner over there. Lob it up. Go get it. Oh, incomplete, man. We gave it to Mike Evans. We gave him a shot. He couldn't get it. So, of course, we got to keep the field goal here. If I was going to go down, bro, it was going to be trying to give Mike Evans the ball. But we're going to kick the field goal. They do get the ball first, start the second half. So, getting some type of points here is a win for me. Here we go. Should be good. Kick is good, baby. So, that's going to take us to halftime, 17-7. Here we go. First play here in the third quarter. And let's go. Carlson Davis with the pick. And that's going to be a pick six. Don't block him in the back. Let's go, baby. Carlton Davis, who we signed to that big three-year, $30 million extension. Man, he might be our third corner, bro. He's no third wheel, bro. He proved it right there. Second down. See what they do here. gonna take that shot deep down the field that's Harrison Smith and he's gonna get the interception let's go man what can he do after it what can he do after he's taking it to the crib baby Harrison Smith what a return that's why we paid that man all that money bro that's why we had to go out and get him man Harrison Smith made a heck of a play right there here we go Ronald Jones baby good run man and can we get some good blocks? OJ Howard should be able to get us one. There we go. Get the first down, man. Get the blocks on the outside. There we go. Leonard Fournette, baby. Leonard Fournette, man. What a run, man. Didn't want to go out of bounds, stop the clock. But both our running backs are playing pretty good. All right, so here we go. It's third and 11. We have Mariota in because Sam Howell's tired after that last play. Can he get there? Let's go, Terrace Marshall, baby. The second your receiver goes up and makes a play. OJ Howard, he drops it, bro. Sam Howell a couple of times has put the ball where it needed to be, bro. And I thought we had a good receiver core, but they are, they're not stepping up. Right, here we go. He's backing everybody up. That's cool, because we might be able to get this out route. Yeah, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Mike Evans, let's go, baby. I don't know why he backed up. He should have stayed um, stayed pressed. And second down. Here we go, OJ Howard. Let's go, baby. Let's see if this RPO might work, man. Let's go, touchdown, and it's going to stand. Sam Howell's first NFL touchdown pass goes to Chris Godwin on the RPO, baby. Here we go, second down. Yo, he made that catch. 
What a grab, man, in traffic. Yo, it's third and 14, baby. Out of the gun, here's Murray. You throw it away, intentional grounding. We'll take that. It's going to end that drive right there. Oh, we blocked the punt. Yo, we blocked the punt. <laughs> Yo, that's the first time I blocked a punt, and I wasn't even in a block punt formation, bro. I was not in a block punt formation. I was literally in a punt return, and we blocked the punt. Wow, man. Wow. All right, guys. So the final score, 45 to 7, man, in the game. Like I said, we controlled. Besides, what, the second quarter when they went down, man? I think we played really good all day. Our, our defense is what impressed me the most, man. But we had 360 yards of offense. They had 243. Um, rushing held them to 36 rushing yards as a team, which is definitely great. The turnover battle. You guys know we have to win it. We had zero turnovers this game. We forced three. So we were plus three in that category, man, which is definitely good. Kyler Murray, 52.4 quarterback rating, 21 of 34 for 211, one touchdown, three interceptions. Sam Howell, 116 quarterback rating, 16 for 21, 178, one touchdown. He also had a um, rushing touchdown on the ground. Mariota, two for three for 50 yards. So between these two, man, I think they did their thing. They definitely did their thing. We held Naeem Hines at just two and a half yards per carry. That is definitely what we want to see. Then Kenyon Drake had one for negative two. Let's look at our running backs though. Ronald Jones, 13 for 68, 5.2 yards a carry. Leonard Fournette, 10 for 55, five and a half yards per carry. I really want both of these guys to share the workload. I know Ronald Jones kind of started running away with the carries last season. I don't want that to happen as much this season. I really want both to keep running, especially with the uh, fatigue being on 70 now. I want fresh running backs. So I definitely want them to kind of split time a lot more evenly. Um, our leading receiver was OJ Howard. Five catches, 56 yards. Ronald Jones had four for 59. Mike Evans, three for 39. Chris Godwin, only two catches this game, 21 yards, but one of them was a touchdown. Schultz had two for 22. Terrace Marshall, two for 25. I mean, we literally spread the ball evenly around the field, which is crazy. Uh, Devin White, man, eight tackles. I mean, Levante Davis, excuse me, with eight tackles, led the team. So people thought he's getting old and maybe he couldn't contribute. I mean, he proved some of the people wrong today, man. Devin White also has seven tackles. Antoine Winfield with five, which is crazy coming from that free safety position. There we go. DJ Dale, the rookie star defensive tackle, had four tackles in this game. No TFLs, but Shaq Barrett had two. Levante David had two. Winfield, Devin White, SMB, they all had one. And the sack came from Shaq Barrett. The interceptions came from Harrison Smith, Carlton Davis, and Jamel Dean. All right, guys. So no upgrades after the game. But um, we got the win, man. A very, very impressive win. Like I said, we're going to take a look here at the standings. Um, only one game down, man. But um, you want to start off the season, right, on a, on a good note, man. So taking a look here at the NFC South, the Saints, they are 0-1. We are 1-0. Then you have the Panthers, who are 0-1. And the Falcons, the team that we just can't beat for whatever reason, they are also 1-0, man. So I think this division is going to be a very tight race again this season. Hopefully, though. We can start winning some of those close games because we know we are going to have a lot of those close games, man. We'll take a look at the schedule and we can see um, so if we go to the schedule. We can see we have a pretty decent schedule. I don't think it's as hard as last season's, but we do have a pretty decent schedule, man. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers, a playoff team. We played against them and got destroyed, although it was preseason. They like to blitz a lot. They are the opposite of the Cardinals. Instead of having the great secondary, they probably have the best front seven in the league man so that's gonna be a tough one that we have the rams that we have philly who also beat us last season so we'll see how we start off things this season man but i'm looking forward to it. you guys let me know after you guys watch the first game how do you guys feel about the season how do you guys feel about about sam Howell? was he the missing piece to unlocking our team going back to how we were season one you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below also let me know how do you guys feel about this defense man I thought it was pretty good, man. But as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, please do me a favor and please leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.